The next thing we'll review on MRIs is an osteochondritis desiccans lesion. Most OCD lesions are located in the lateral aspect of the medial femoral condyle, so we'll go through the MRI appearance of what these would look like in that circumstance. So th this is a coronal appearance of an osteochondritis desiccans lesion, a lateral aspect of a medial femoral condyle in a right knee. And we'll primarily go through the fat saturation images to show the changes in the bone that can occur. So this is showing the patella. And as we go down further, we'll start to see the femur forming and then the meniscus on the side here. And we're starting to see the OCD lesion on this location. So the OCD lesion will show up as some disruption of the subchondral bone. In this case, there is some cystic changes deep to the OCD lesion, as well as some generalized swelling in the rim that forms around the OCD lesion. So the OCD lesion is still intact here, but it's just barely intact because we could see some fluid between the margins of the bone deeper under the lesion. And then as we get more posterior to it, we can see the more normal appearance of the medial femoral condyle. So the things we want to look at on this, in addition to looking at the OCD lesion itself, is verifying that the articular cartilage of the medial tibial plateau is still intact, verifying that the ACL is intact, and also making sure that there's a good cushion remaining. So we want to see how much substance the medial meniscus is remaining. And in this patient, it looks essentially normal, so we can see the normal appearance there. So the next sequence we'll go through is the sagittal sequence. The sagittal sequence will start off with the anterior structures up here and the posterior structures along here. And then we'll course down and start to see the meniscus. And we could see some increased signal intensity within the bone, which tells us that there's some overload there. And we'll start to see the OCD lesion here. So we can see the normal subchondral bone along here. This gray is the cartilage. And as we get down this location, we just don't see it as well. And we could see that there's some disruption of the bone, some cysts along in here, and some swelling that's occurring at the, at the interface between the OCD and the remainder of the medial femoral condyle. Now the final thing we look for on these cuts is the axial image. We don't have a fat suppression image on here, but we can see well where there's some changes within the medial femoral condyle. As we get down, we'll see some, some increased signal along in here where it's a little darker, and we can see the cystic changes that would occur in through here that's consistent with the subchondral bone changes that happen with an OCD lesion. So it's just not cartilage that happens with an OCD. There's also some disruption of the bone that we can see clearly on this axial cut also on the MRI scan.